I'm extreme, I was extremely proud of those guys for what for, for some of the things they overcame, uh, the way they, they, they worked. But there's not one of these guys right here, not one guy on our team that'll tell you that four and four is acceptable. I mean, let's be real, we finished four and four. That's the way we were, that, that's, that's 500. That, that doesn't get you anything in this game nowadays. It really doesn't. Uh, that's why I've said we have a long way to go. We have a lot to improve on. All right. Was there momentum last year? Yeah, but they, you know, it's a new staff, it's new people. Uh, but what I, what I do know is that when I look in that team room and I sit in front of these guys and I look out and I know what they have beneath them, I know the grit that they have, I know they're smart, I know they're intelligent, I, I, I know they can do those things. It's our job as coaches, my job as the head coach, to continue to give them the tools to do that. How did it happen last year? We quit waiting on bad things to happen. We went out there starting to expect to win as opposed to waiting for something bad to happen to end up losing. Right? It's contagious. It, it, it's a growth. It's a disease that happens. In, in, you know, winning grows in your locker room just like losing does. They're the same way. You talk about culture. That's what culture is. What are your, what are your expectations? What do they expect to do? I expect them to walk on the field every week and expect to win every game we play. Is that going to happen? Probably not. Look at the history of college football. It's hard. It's hard to win. But to expect to go on the field and be able to go and compete who, regardless of who you're going against, that's what they have to do. That's what we have to preach as coaches. That has to be our expectation as coaches. Right, I've seen coaches walk out of the field scared. How can you do that? You only get 12 opportunities to go on the field and play every year. 12. Fewer than any other sport that, that, that's played. Of all the work that takes place in football, you have 12 opportunities to go on the field. Why not go on the field expecting to be the absolute best you can be and compete and win every single game? Because right? if you don't do that, you're not even getting past the first quarter. That's what they were doing last year. They bought in to the truth. They bought into having ownership in the team. We're still learning that every day. You, know, you talk about ownership. Right? If I told everybody in this room right now, you guys have all, all have ownership in what we're doing. All right? Well, with ownership comes, now you're, now you're responsible. All right? Now you can't point and say it's his fault or it's his fault or it's that coach's fault. That's truly having ownership. Well, how do you continue to grow with it? Well, how do you hold people accountable? How do you hold people accountable when you have ownership in a program? We have 120 guys, and I truly believe I want every one of them to have a bit of ownership, just like the coaches and assistant coaches. Because now you have a well-oiled machine and everybody's working together for the same goal. Now there's no finger pointing. Now people aren't talking, oh, not my fault, not my, not my play. You can't do that because you're all in it together.